professional firms find that despite collecting brilliant insights from their client feedback programs, it can be very difficult to use that to create real change. So Ben, how do you go about getting staff to change their ways? The first, the place to start is making sure that the feedback from individual clients is followed up and putting robust processes to make sure that happens. And they should, you should follow up whether it's good feedback or bad feedback. Ideally, you want to get the team together and create an action plan. Also, escalate if, it, if there are serious issues. If the client is happy, you could um, explore opportunities to deepen the relationship or ask for testimonials. How do you go about addressing issues at a firm-wide level? Yeah, um, firms are often poor at addressing firm-wide issues. Um, an excellent technique is to develop a client journey map, and we've done this with a number of accountancy and law firms. I, essentially what this does is it looks at the client service from the client's perspective, looks at all the different touch points and how the client is thinking and feeling at each point. And from that, you can improve the client service, make it more consistent and making sure you're uh, addressing the pain points and creating some moments of delight so you can differentiate your client service. Having done that, um, you can use the client journey map as a framework for then doing skill development. So addressing particular issues that clients have um, identified. Um, a, 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 a fantastic technique is to use client quotes or even videos of clients talking about their expectations. That has huge impact and we've done that in many of the training sessions we've done for our professional clients. It can be really challenging to get people to change their behaviours in a long-lasting way. Are there any techniques that you find are useful for keeping momentum going across the whole firm following skills development? Yeah. Uh, there's no point just doing client feedback and then leaving people to get on with it. Um, some firms are identifying client champions. Those will be people who uh, work with clients and kind of represent um, who are people with real skills. Not necessarily just partners, but people throughout the organisation. And what they do is they are kind of people who can consult them about ideas and best practice, maintaining the enthusiasm in all different offices. Um, I think you also need to address the thorny issue of appraisal and remuneration. Unfortunately, many people are measured on their chargeable hours, which means they tend to focus on that. Um, so making sure that client service is integrated into competency frameworks, is addressed in appraisals, that you're using feedback to inform the appraisals. You can also incentivize and remunerate people on excellent client service skills, but you need to be careful about that. Um, because if you just do that in a, a kind of simplistic way, people start playing the system, only ask their favourite clients to take feedback, and also they will avoid the more demanding clients. So yes, um, look at that, but make sure there's a kind of quality element in that assessment as well. For more information on this and other topics, including our how-to guides, visit our website www.meridianwest.co.uk.